Hey guys, Steve. We're going to talk about another one of the bag drills I really like to do. Swinging bag. We're going to step aside, let that bag move past us. Alright? Flow. We're not stealing anything from Bruce Lee, but we're going to throw. We're going to, we're going to flow. Alright? <laughs> so that bag comes moving, our opponent comes at us. Take advantage of that. Alright? This is all about that. Simple movement, but it's all about the, uh, the balance of the bag, the comfortable uh, nature of just being in, in tight with the bag and, and moving around it. And uh, we'll talk more about that and uh, do a drill in uh, uh, another video that's linked in the description below. But today we're going to talk about stepping aside. In the previous video, if you didn't see it, it was one, two, moving in, one, two, step back. Moving in, one, two. This time, similar, but we're going to step to the side. And we're going to step to the side. And the key is always balance everywhere you go. There's always a constant balance. I'm pivoting. I'm ready. You know, it's defense is up. And, I'm, you know, there is nothing that your balance should ever be thrown off for almost. And if it does, it's just a matter of you're right there. Wherever you go, balance is everything. Keeping that defense up, being dynamic with it, and being ready at any given time. Just explosive rotation and punch. And not to mention, stepping into it. All right, back to our drill. <laughs> We're gonna duck under the throw hook. We duck under the other side, throw hook. So I've got the bag moving uh, parallel to the room here. I'm facing parallel. I step over, I'm back to parallel. Real simple drill. I am not too far from the center of the bag, actually. And I'm going to take advantage of when the bag is moving to me. This one I want to hit it. In this case, it's part of the drill, so we need to hit the bag during the movement to where it helps to continue that movement to continue the drill. But normally, in any given case, we always want to hit our opponent when it's moving towards us. Take advantage of that extra inertia. But we're going to move under. Throw the hook, move under, throw the hook, and I twist it into it, okay? And then move under, and I throw the hook, move off balance, move under, throw a hook, fully twisted. We can double that up, we can go by head, as an example. Obviously, no limit to this kind of exercise. The key is balance, comfortable with the closeness of the bag. But really, we're talking about just letting our opponent move without threatening us. In fact, the opposite. We're going to take advantage of that. And the engineering behind that, that inertia of our opponent, that movement, that rotation. It's, it's all opportunity. <laughs> Nothing but opportunity, all right? We're moving to the side, and we're moving to the side. Or we can also be aggressive with it and move to the side, but attacking inward. Moving to the side, but I'm stepping in. Moving to the side, letting whatever happen go. And I'm moving to the side. And I'm coming to attack. Watch out for that double leg. Oh, here he goes. That's your feet. <laughs> all right, guys, you like this, you know. Click like. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, you know, subscribe. Click it. If you want to see one of the following videos, one of the previous videos I was talking about, check it below. If it's not linked below, you'll see it on the page. All right? I hope you uh, learned something. I hope that I was able to share something that could be beneficial. If you think so, then share it. Sharing the love. Peace. Next time.